endless jungles, towering mountains, powerful cascades, winding rivers, and one natural wonder like no other. Join me on this journey to the world's tallest waterfall, Salto Angel. A flight from Caracas takes us to the starting point of this adventure, the town of Canaima. Welcome to the jungle. It may be on the outskirts of the immense Amazon forest, but this is still deep inside the jungle. That's why the waterfall was known only to the indigenous Pemon people as Kerepakupai Meru, meaning waterfall of the deepest place, until it was discovered by American aviator Jimmy Angel, hence the name Angel Falls. But I'm getting ahead of myself, because even before setting out to our main destination, there is another attraction you have to see. And here is the Canaima Lagoon. The unique palm trees inside the water and several waterfalls worth a visit in their own right. Boat is rocking left and right. Let's not fall into the lagoon. We still got a long way to go. Over here, the water, you can feel it. I don't know if you can see it on the lens right now, but it's really, really powerful. So here you get off to get to the other waterfall, the Sapo waterfall. We have this little hike here and I can hear it. Maybe you. We get to go in behind the waterfall. That's what's so special about this place. Let's go. Oh, the water. Whoop, whoop. Hey. I don't know if you can hear me right now because it's so loud. Oh, wow. To keep going, they tell us to wear socks. No shoes, because it's slippery. I don't know, I never heard of that as a strategy. To avoid slipping, but... And I am soaked to the core. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you go first! You go first! So this is the Santa Waterfall, my friends. Soak it in. To be less wet and see more views, we can climb up and out of the jungle. I give you the top of the Sapo Waterfall. You can see how far the Kanaima National Park spreads. direction is one of the tepuis. Those are those unique landforms, towering mountains that go up over a kilometer high with the flat tops. And it is from the top of one of those tepuis from which emerges the tallest waterfall in the world. This is just the appetizer. So our journey to Salto Angel begins here. That is our canoe that's going to be going upstream. So it's a traditional Pemon canoe, but with a motor. Um, but yeah, here. Getting the engine ready. And we had to climb up here 
past those uh, waterfalls of Kanaima Lagoon so that we can actually get to the part of the river in which we can actually use the canoe to get to the Angel Falls. You can see in the meanwhile along the way that there are many other of these tepuis, these amazing flat-topped mountain structures that are made out of rock that is billions of years old and they create these really unique formations. It's absolutely stunning. It's an over four hour journey along three different rivers to the base of the falls. That over there is an impassable section of rapids. So we gotta walk to get to the next point. And boy, it's hot. It just changes here from rain like crazy to the sun bearing down on you. Now navigating here is really tricky. Because look at the rapids. So the boat has to stay here, close to the bank where the water is a little bit better, but still, it's kind of rough. That's the Aoyang Tepui that's coming into view. You can see very vividly how the rock just cuts down like that, like a complete vertical cliff. It's very unique. And how does, how is there enough water for the waterfall, basically? Um, our guy here explaining to us, because usually water, it doesn't come from, I, I mean, how is there enough water for the waterfall? Rain. Rain. Yeah. It rained a lot yesterday. Yeah. When it doesn't rain, you don't have a waterfall. No. Like very, very small. A little bit. A little bit. But now, we'll see a lot of water. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> According to the local Pemon traditions, these incredible mountains house the gods. And when you look at them, just going up like that, vertically, into the skies, inside the clouds. It's very easy to understand why they would think that. I mean, it even looks like there's a castle up there. Now, because it's rained a lot in the last couple of days, we can see actually quite a lot of waterfalls that are emerging from the mountain. Although, of course, none of them can rival the Majestic Angel Falls. Time to leave the Karao River behind. And now we're going to this tributary over here. That's going to take us to the base camp. Here we have to navigate these rapids. Oh, whoa. Good on our driver that he knows what he's doing. So this is our final stop before we get to base camp and the guy here is telling me you can climb up this huge rock in the middle of the river and jump in. Doesn't sound dangerous at all. And look at the color of this red water, it's crazy. First of all, you can see the Angel Falls all the way up there. It's kind of blocked by the tree. And an amazing view of the river. Okay, so you need to climb down to that point and then you can jump. Right, this. this was a terrible idea. Oh my god, I'm scared now to do it. I don't know. Whoa. 
One, two, three. Mission accomplished. Time to move on. We now branch off from the Chowon River to the stream bringing us a short distance from the bottom of the falls. So we've made it to our camp, right over here, setting up hammocks. There's a little kitchen over there and toilets, showers, everything. It's actually better than I expected. I thought it would be just basically a tiny tent, but we got everything we need here. And tomorrow, we hike to the falls. They activate the generator here for three hours and then it lights out. Good morning, everyone, and what a morning it is. We're crossing the river now and heading up to Salto Angel. What is it? This is the final climb to the top. I'm sweating. Like crazy. So humid over here. But we are almost there. Here we are, the tallest waterfall in the world. But you can't see it. It's shrouded in mist. Luckily, it would not last. Just so exciting, now we can see all of it. I can't believe it that we actually finally made it here. Nearly a kilometer high, emerging from the clouds like some fairy tale. In today's modern, fast-paced world, we don't very often stand still in awe and amazement at the power of nature. This is one of those moments, and I will remember it for the rest of my life.